Well, 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 Rosalie, like father, like daughter. So last time we talked, Gwyneth Westwood, the founder of my Not So Berry Challenge, had a heart to heart with her daughters Bella Westwood and heir Rosalie Bastianich. While Rosalie left for her senior trip to Salvadorada, with her boyfriend Finley Broke at her side, the two of them sneaking out to go to a bar, Rosalie trying alcohol for the very first time, and it was safe to say that she loved it, falling into a blissful slumber in her Salvadorada bed. Meanwhile, back at home in Windenburg, our founder Gwyneth's night was just getting started. She was getting primped and polished and putting on her favorite lingerie because tonight, her alien baby mama, Tanisha Stallings, was spending the night. And with Gwyneth and Joseph now over and done with, there was a very important question she wanted to ask Tanisha. And she made sure her room set the tone for said question. Tanisha arrived late at night, wanting to make sure her daughter Bella was knocked out cold, per Gwyneth's request. She's really taking the breakup with Joseph hard for whatever reason, and didn't want Bella knowing about this just yet, especially when this was about to become official. The two headed up to Gwyneth's bedroom, Tanisha in awe from the atmosphere. This was so romantic, she loved it, and she loved how Gwyneth looked in that dress. The two of them had a lot of catching up to do, they hadn't seen each other since Gwyneth discovered the truth about Joseph and Sarah Scott. She'd just been so occupied with the whole ordeal, which Tanisha completely understood. She went ahead and told her everything. Firstly, Tanisha was right about everything. Tessa was in fact Joseph's daughter, and she met her and Joseph's side piece. Second, she spent some time figuring out how to handle the situation, especially since Rosalie was involved. And third, she aired him out in front of Rosalie and Bella on Harvest Fest, ending their relationship for good. They haven't spoken since. Wow. Tanisha said that was a lot of information for her to absorb. She was sorry Gwyneth and the girls had to go through all of that, but Gwyneth was just happy that it was over, that her and Joseph were done. She'd wasted too much time with him when she could have been spending it with someone else, which led her to the next thing she wanted to talk about, but Tanisha asked if she could go first. Since her and Joseph were done, she was wondering if Gwyneth would like to be her girlfriend. Oh my god, that was exactly what Gwyneth was going to ask her. So, it's official. Gwyneth and Tanisha are now girlfriends for the first time in her life. Gwyneth felt secure about who she was dating. She had settled for Joseph she'd always felt anxious for majority of their relationship and majority of their relationship was filled with fighting lies and infidelity with Tanisha she knew things would be different she was confident and she couldn't wait to see what their future had in store Gwyneth and Tanisha cuddled and talked about their relationship while all the way in Salvadorada our air Rosalie was getting ready to go on a hike with her boyfriend Finley broke Courtney, why are we swimming while healing from a C-section? Girl is fucking insane. Rosalie was a bit concerned for her godson's mother, but she bit her tongue. She was just glad Courtney was well. Anyways, she and Courtney swam for some time before it was time for Rosalie to meet with Finley downstairs and for them to begin their hike. Good lord, Finley, you are just dying to respectfully disrespect Rosalie, aren't you, on this senior trip? The students had the freedom to do basically whatever they wanted as long as they came back before curfew. Rosalie and Finley decided that they would spend most of their time with each other, and what they'd spend their time doing today was exploring the jungle. Plus, this would give them plenty of alone time. Plenty of alone time and privacy. You cannot possibly consider woohooing for the first time in the jungle. Finley got to work using his machete to cut the vines while Rosalie analyzed the map. Finley, being the gentleman he is, didn't want Rosalie to cut the vines herself, as he was scared that she would hurt herself. And he's probably so correct considering this sitch hurt herself purposely, for he is thinking that her father Joseph would ever love her properly. Finley would take a break here and there to tell his girl she looks beautiful. After some time, Finley got through the first set of vines, witnessing a bird trying to collect their dinner. 
Finn, if you don't let nature do its thing. Ah yes, a cheesecake jaw break after a session of cutting down vines and almost attacking a bird. A totally normal sentence. They took a breather after that bit of hiking, one involving lots of flirting and Rosalie picking fruit off the nearby trees. After that, the two of them jogged through the trees, over the bridge, and up the ruins, until they found the next set of branches and vines to comb through. This experience was so fun and intimate, and Finley was really feeling the love. In fact, there was something he was going to tell Rosalie for the first time today before they head back to the villa. The two of them then took some selfies to capture this moment forever. And, oh my god, there's a glitch that makes Finley look taller. This is so goddamn cute. After that was when Finley finally got back to the branches, and Rosalie took some more selfies of just herself. Oh. What the fuck has been up with my game lately? Finley carried on with his machete, Rosalie getting attacked by vampire bats in the middle of it. And once he was able to enter the path, he encountered countless sloths. Boldly, he decided to walk with them. And he scared them. And walked himself into vampire bats. That's just lovely. Finn, since the sun was setting, Rosalie and Finley decided that this would be the last set of branches they would comb through. And Rosalie begged Finley to let her cut these ones herself. As protective as he is, he agreed to have her try it. He was exhausted and wanted to eat more cheesecake. Anyways, seems like midway through, Rosalie was regretting her decision. Next time girl, just listen to your man. Rosalie made her way through and encountered a fucking capybara and some bees. Girl has the worst luck, but luckily for her, she managed to cross the path unscathed. And that's when she found some Thing, a huge pool in the middle of the jungle, it was beautiful, unlike anything she'd ever seen before, and she was in awe of the rare plants surrounding it. Sitch, did you actually get stung by a bee? Before the two of them were due back at the villa, they decided to spend a few minutes taking a dip in the pool. Rosalie was in bliss. She was spending quality time with her lovely boyfriend and wasn't thinking at all about Joseph. This trip was exactly what she needed, and Finley could see that. And right as they were about to head back to the villa, Finley stopped Rosalie to tell her something. He told her he loves her for the very first time. He knew it was fast and that they just became official. But things were different when it came to Rosalie. She wasn't some girl he'd just met. He's known her majority of his life. He knew exactly how he felt about her. She doesn't have to say it back to him just yet. But he just wanted her to know. Rosalie couldn't believe it. Findlay loves her and she loves him too. But no, she didn't say it back to him just yet. Especially not when she's drunk on his touch. She knew of a better way to say those three words. And that's when Finley told her something else. For their birthdays later this week, he has booked a trip for the two of them to go to Tartosa, a romantic getaway, just for them so they can party, eat, and drink for three days straight as young adults. Holy shit, what did she do to deserve such an amazing boyfriend? Her first trip with her boyfriend, they're going to be alone. Oh shit. They're going to be alone.